So here we're told that the price per share, I'm going to call that, um, assign that P, for stock X increased by K percent. And then the earnings per share, I'm going to call that E, so these are per, per share, increased by M percent. And we're told that K is greater than M. And the question is by what percent did the ratio price per share to earnings uh, increase? So initially, it's P over E. And now after the increase, so we can write, the direct way of writing it would be 1 plus K over 100 would be the new price, and then the earnings would be E times 1 plus M over 100. So it pays to know why you can do that in one step. It saves you a lot of time. But if you don't know that, you'd have to do it in steps. It's P original plus K percent, K over 100 times the original price, and if you factor a P, it's 1 plus K over 100. So this comes up enough on the GMAT that you should be able to, you should be comfortable doing this uh, in one step. So here we just need to find the, uh, the, the percent increase in the ratio price to earnings. Essentially it's price to earnings. So this would be the difference of those two divided by the original. So actually I'm going to do it on the next page. Yeah, it's going to require some algebra. E times 1 plus M over 100. So that's the, after the increase, original is P over E divided by P over E times 100. And actually, if we can factor P over E, we'll just strike out. And you will have 1 plus K over 100. I mean, so in the exam, I'll just be doing the shortcuts and minus 1. But the, the logical step is you're factoring a P over E and then you get this piece minus one here. So you do have to keep in mind, this is not zero here. And, and then we just have to simplify this. Again, I'm gonna multiply both numerator and denominator by 100, and this would become 100 plus K. Again, in the exam, I would not write this step, but just do 100 plus K over 100 plus M minus one times 100. And then the denominator would be 100 plus M on the top would be 100 plus K minus 100 minus M, because I have to distribute that negative sign, times 100. The hundreds drop out, I get K minus M over 100 plus M times 100. And this is in percent, because we are multiplying it by this 100 here. And this is same as answer choice um, D. So the correct answer is D.